Not only are you going to see LeBron in a new jersey next season, but apparently you're going to be seeing a whole new player altogether. I'll explain. Hey guys, it's Ty. Thanks for watching The Fumble. For all the latest news on all your favorite athletes, make sure to hit subscribe and make sure to follow me on the gram and Twitter at Ty1 on Sports. Do you remember how LeBron used to do everything in Cleveland? Yeah, how could you forget, am I right? Well, that playmaking devil you've been watching for the last several years is gonna be taking a few steps back into the grave because that style of play is going to die for LeBron in LA. So what will his new play look like? Well, he'll be spending more time in the post and be focused less on creating plays for others. He'll be more of a, what's it called? Oh yeah, selfish player, if you will. I envision it looking something like this. Maybe even this. That's right, LeBron is entering a new phase in his career that I like to call Zero Goat 23 Activation. An ESPN reporter said playing more like Bryant and Jordan will take time and patience, and James told Johnson that some habits will be hard to break. But James knows playing more inside and yielding some control of the ball is important as he ages and his athleticism starts to fade. At 6 foot 8, 260 pounds, with great vision and passing skills, he may be better equipped for success than a smaller Jordan or Bryant. Um, I don't know about all of that yet, but there is that potential. Now that he's a Laker, I have the capacity to fully admit to his greatness, which I wasn't able to do in the past. Guys, drop a comment and tell me why you think Bron is switching it up at this stage in his career. Want to know what I think? I know you don't, but I'm going to tell you anyway. Let me take you back to 2016, okay? LeBron led the Cavs to the unbelievable beating the Warriors, who were a super team even then. Now they're just a super team on Royce, but you get the picture. Shortly after, he had an interview with Sports Illustrated, one of his most famous interviews to date. And they were going over all the storylines that had plagued him his whole career, but especially since going back to the Cavs. Can he make the big shot? Can he win the big game? Can he win the big game for Cleveland? None of that existed anymore because we knew the answer was just yes, he just did it. So then that's when he was asked, what motivates you now? And he said this, my motivation is this ghost I'm chasing. The ghost played in Chicago. LeBron is still chasing Jordan's legacy. He got three rings being an unselfish player, but that will only take you so far. I'm sorry. And yes, this is part of my obsession with Kobe, okay? He was a villain with not only passion, but a purpose. It's that killer instinct on the court. And that's what gets you five or six more rings, okay? And that's what LeBron wants. Because LeBron is already a great, some of you call him the GOAT, but he's after a legacy that he hasn't reached just yet. Hate or love the Lakers? What a fitting team to carry the rest of that out, am I right? Lakers have a true legacy, and LeBron is now being mentored by one of the greats in Magic Johnson. Oh, and uh, you know all those weird trades and signings during free agency? Yeah, Bron Bron been co-signing on all of them, every single one. Ha ha to all you haters who were saying, oh, LeBron is already regretting signing with the Lakers because they did this and they did that. No, LeBron been the one doing this and that and the Lakers front office just taking the rap. It's just like how it was in Cleveland. That part hasn't changed. The same ESPN report said, according to multiple sources within the Lakers and close to James, this is the rollout of a plan Johnson outlined for James the night of June 30th at James's home. The subsequent deals, which sources say James has consulted on, but have been executed at Johnson and Rob Palinka's direction, follow this vision. Earlier this week after LeBron signed, Kobe told Stephen A. Smith, anything that I can do whatsoever to help LeBron bring a championship back to the city of LA, I'm all for it. That's interesting, Kobe, because one thing that you could do is come back for a season when the pieces are all in place and get your sixth ring. I have hope, MJ did it, you're gonna do it, Bron will probably retire, then come back and play with his son for it. They always come back, trust me. Guys, drop a comment and let me know your thoughts on Bron's new plans for his style on the court and if you think him and Kobe might win one together in the future. As promised, today's post notification shout out goes to Rob Justice and Swaggy Z. What's good? I'm gonna be in the comments commenting back on all of today's videos, so make sure you say hi. Also, make sure you're subscribed and in the Noti Gang for a shout out. Much love, fam.